There are countless businesses in the world. But do you know there's one business where if the customer fails, he is called a failure. The name of this business is education. According to the Economic Times, 80% of engineers in our country are unemployable. Does that mean that 80% of the students are not smart? Absolutely not. The real problem is that most colleges are still teaching things that are no longer relevant in today's job market. And if the education itself is outdated, how will students ever get the right jobs? This is a huge issue and if you're serious about your future, it's important to acknowledge and address it. That's why it's crucial to get into a good college, one that teaches the right skills and makes you job ready. And that's exactly why we've made this video. We're going to explore the top 10 engineering colleges in Pune, colleges known for high quality education and strong placement records. And once you watch this video, you'll know exactly which college is the best for you to secure admission and set yourself up for success. So let's dive into Pune's top 10 engineering college. The first one on our list is COEP Technological University. This is Pune's best engineering college, but getting admission here is extremely tough. The most interesting fact is that COEP was established in 1864 during the British rule. This was a time when even a formal degree granting university did not exist in India. Now let's talk about how you can get in. To be eligible for admission, you need at least 45% marks in your board exams. And you need to clear either JE mains or MHT CET which is for Maharashtra students. If you're applying to JE mains, you need at least a 99.3 percentile score and for MHT CET, you'll need a 99.8 percentile to secure a CSC seat. The tuition fee is extremely affordable, just somewhere around 90,000 per year. Now let's look at placements. The highest package has gone up to 50.5 LPA and median package has been somewhere around 11.3 LPA which is very impressive. Now before I move on to the next college, I want to talk about an institute that is revolutionizing education. If I had to rank it, I'd give it rank 0 because its approach is something you won't find in any traditional college. I'm talking about Intellipath School of Technology. This institute has been commended by Ved Tiwari, CEO of the National Skill Development Corporation, Government of India. But what makes IST truly unique? Instead of just producing engineers, IST focuses on building innovators, entrepreneurs and tech product creators. Unlike traditional institutes, IST has been designed by industry experts with faculty from Google, Microsoft and Meta along with experienced IIT professors. The focus here is not just in theory but real-world practical learning. You will master AI, ML, cloud and other cutting-edge technologies essential for success in today's tech-driven world. You'll spend 5,000 plus hours of coding, not just working on projects, but building real tech products like designing cloud infrastructure for large-scale applications like Amazon. And it does not stop there. IST provides hands-on training on scaling your product into a startup through its innovation hub. You will even get the chance to pitch your ideas to VCs for funding while still in college. At IST, you won't just be job ready, you'll be entrepreneurship ready. Beyond academics, IST offers incredible opportunities like participating in international tech summits in Dubai and Singapore, visiting MAN campuses to see how these companies operate, and even earning a minor degree from an IIT. IST has multiple campuses across Bangalore, Pune, Chennai, Hyderabad, Delhi, and more. And students receive a B.Tech degree through IST's partner universities. To get into IST, you need to clear the INET entrance test followed by a personal interview. The website link is in the description. Check it out now and apply for this unique opportunity. Moving on with the next college on our list, Triple IT Pune. To be eligible for admission here, you need 75% aggregate marks in PCM, that is Physics, Chemistry and Maths, and at least 60% marks across all these subjects. Then you need to clear the JE main exam. For a CSE seat, your JE main rank should be within 16,000. You can see the fee structure on your screen right now. When it comes to placements, Triple IT Pune has strong numbers. The median package for CSE graduates has been around 12 LPA. Now let's move on to the next college, Cummins College. This is India's first all-women engineering college established in 1991. To be eligible for admission here, you need 60% aggregate marks in 12th and then clear either JE mains or MHD CET according to cutoff. The tuition fee at CCEW is quite affordable. It ranges between 4 lakhs to 5 lakhs depending on your specialization. And if we talk about placements, the median package has gone up to 6.5 LPA. Moving on to the next college, Pune Institute of Computer Technology. To get admission in CSE, you need at least 45% marks in 12 boards and a valid score in JE mains or MHD CET whose cutoff varies like this. The fee structure at PICT depends on your specialization. It ranges between 1.7 lakhs to 3 lakhs per year. 
If we talk about placements, the median package for CAC graduates lies somewhere around 10 LPA. Next on our list is MIT World Peace University. You can get admission in BTEC CSE either through JE Mains, MHD CET for the students of Maharashtra, MIT WPU CET, the college's own entrance test, or direct admission through management quota. The fee structure varies depending on your admission route and exam ranks, where the minimum fee is around 7.2 lakhs and maximum fee can go up to 17 lakhs. Now talking about placements, the median salary lies around 6 LPA for this college. Moving on to the next college, Army Institute of Technology. AIT is a private engineering college with an intake capacity of 384 seats. To get admission in CSE, your JE mains rank should fall between 53,000 and 1 lakh 13,000. The annual tuition fee is around 2 lakh 36,000 and median salary goes up to 9 LPA. Next on our list is DY Patil University, Pune. To get admission into DY Patil, you can apply through JE Mains, MHD CET, or direct admission under the management quota. The annual tuition fee lies somewhere around 1,35,000 and median package goes up to 5 LPA. The next college is Symbiosis University. There are multiple ways to get admission here. JE Mains, State Level Entrance Exams or SIT Triple E that is Symbiosis own entrance exam. The total tuition fees for a 4-year B.Tech degree is somewhere around 13 lakhs and the placement record is also quite strong with the median salary of around 8.9 LPA. Now let's talk about Vishwakarma Institute of Technology, Pune, the second last college on our list. You can get admission here through JE Mains or MHT CET. The cutoff for the exams vary somewhat like this as you can see on your screen. The total tuition fees for B.Tech ranges between 9 lakhs to 17 lakhs depending on the specialization and the mode of admission. If we talk about placements, the median salary is around 7 LPA. Moving on to the last college on our list, Bharti Vidya Peet. To get admission into Bharti Vidya Peet, you need to appear for BVP CET, that is Bharti Vidya Peet's own entrance exam. The college also accepts JE mains and MHD CET scores. The annual tuition fees ranges between 1,25,000 to 1,50,000 and if we talk about placements, the median package is generally around 4.4 LPA. So these were the top 10 engineering colleges in Pune. I hope this video gave you valuable insights and helped you understand which college is the right fit for you. Do not forget to check out Intellipath School of Technology in the description below. Thank you and see you in the next video.